And I am truly, truly blessed in this industry of livestock to, uh, to have this kind of a great honor. And to the people here with the saddle and sirloin, all of you, and to you many hundreds of people across America who have uh, sent letters and emails and so forth in, in support of me for this great honor, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was great, wonderful. But there's, uh, I must say, uh, I traveled for many years across this great land, and uh, I thought, boy, there's an awful lot of people I know that probably, I thought maybe be ahead of me in this great honor, but I, I'm humbled and gracious that at least I was chosen this year of 011. And uh, thank you, thank you all of you very, very much. It have, uh, we are in a, we are in a turmoil in this country. You know that. We're looking at a, a big, big bunch of moral decay and economic decay. And next, uh, we, have, we got election deal coming up. And I'm not running for anything. <laughs> but I do feel we need to get some conservatism and some less, the biggest word I can take off. And our people, men and women, that we should be trying to put in there is one, two big words, common sense. We have been so short of that particular item uh, the last while, and oh boy, oh boy, have we drifted a flecky. We kind of let the herd get away from us. So thank you again, all of you. But you know, there's, there's time to make some change. It's time to be, but you know the folks, the folks that put this country together years ago, and they had one thing in mind: the fairness to, to the people on the land, the people that grow the food. And you know, one of the real reasons that shiploads by the dozens came to the land of opportunity, the new world they called it, was because we had freedoms. We had freedoms, and we lost a lot of those freedoms. And as we've lost many of those freedoms, we have lost many opportunities. And you wonder why there's people out of work and there's people up and down the streets. And you, it's because the biggest reason, in my opinion, we've lost a lot of opportunities for business people, for working families, for everybody in the middle. And you and I can change that some because I think we're going to have to go. You know, they put this country together. Uh, they, those you could tell looking at the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and all the rest, they weren't afraid uh, to mention God. They weren't afraid to. They weren't afraid to rely on Him for guidance. And we need, we need to do that now. All of us and the people in Washington, the people who make rules, and you and I and each of us. We need to look up and ask for help from God. In the decisions that must be made, and do that. If you're seated, stay seated. If you're standing, stay there, and remove your hairdress. And if you like that, I call it the, our national anthem number two. <laughs> you, can, you can sing along with me if you want. I call it God bless America. God bless America.
and gentlemen, God bless you all. And have a, a good time with you. And say to God when you go to rest tonight, when you go to bed, thank you, God. This country is the best in the world. And please, let me live and die here, will you? So long, everybody.